Okay, one final example. This time we're doing the average rate of change, and we're actually given the definition of the function. So you see here, this is example number 11. Uh, we see that f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, and we're looking to find the average rate of change of this function over the closed interval from x equals negative 1 until x equals 5. That there, there we go. Okay, so same formula as before. We're looking at f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So we need f of 5 minus f of negative 1 over 5 minus negative 1. That's our setup. Denominator is all set to go. Numerator, obviously, we're going to need f of 5 and f of negative 1. So let's hammer that out real quick. f of 5. So we're going to plug 5 in for x. So we have 2 times 25 plus 3 times 5 minus 4. So that's 50 plus 15, 65. Take away 4 gives us 61. And then f of negative 1 is going to be 2 times 1, because negative 1 squared is obviously a positive 1. And then plus 3 times negative 1 minus 4. So we have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, minus 4, so that's going to be negative 5. So now we can go back up to our average rate of change, and we've got the 61 minus negative 5 over 5 minus negative 1. In our numerator and in our denominator, we have a double negative, so we'll be adding in both cases. 61 plus 5 is 66. Denominator is 6 which means our final answer is 11. So this has an average, the, function, the average rate that this function is changing over the interval from negative 1 to 5 is 11 units. So it means you're going 11 units up for every one unit over on average on that interval.